Welcome to Global Report, your trusted source for breaking headlines, global insights, and sharp analysis from around the world. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an update. In the world of aviation, a new contender is preparing to take flight. Russia's Yakovlev MC-21, a jet that represents not just a new aircraft, but a bold statement of national ambition and technological independence. This medium-haul jet is the product of years of research, engineering, and a nation's determination to chart its own course in the skies. For decades, Russian airlines relied heavily on Boeing and Airbus, integrating Western technology into their fleets, and depending on foreign expertise for maintenance and upgrades. But sweeping sanctions after 2022 abruptly cut off access to Western planes and parts, grounding fleets, stranding passengers, and isolating the entire Russian aviation industry from the global market. The MC-21 project, once envisioned as a commercial venture to compete globally, suddenly became a national imperative, an urgent mission to secure Russia's skies. Its goal, to replace hundreds of Western-built planes that can no longer be serviced, and to ensure the country's vast air network remains operational. The MC-21 is essential for keeping Russia connected across 11 time zones, linking remote cities and regions that depend on air travel for commerce and daily life. Today, it stands as the flagship of Russia's sweeping import substitution policy, a symbol of resilience in the face of international pressure. The MC-21 aims in 21 CMOMs to showcase Russian innovation and engineering prowess, proving that the country can adapt and thrive even when cut off from global supply chains. As of Christmas Day 2025, the MC-21 is undergoing rigorous testing, with engineers and pilots pushing the aircraft to its limits to ensure safety and reliability. It is no longer just a prototype, but a real aircraft facing its final hurdles before entering full-scale service, a crucial step for the future of Russian aviation. The stakes are enormous, its success or failure will not only shape the future of Russian aviation, but also determine the country's industrial capabilities and its place in the global aerospace industry. The MC-21's journey is a drama of ambition, adversity, and national pride, with every test flight watched closely by a nation hoping for a breakthrough. Its outcome is still unfolding in the skies over Russia, as the world watches to see if this ambitious project can truly take flight and redefine the future of Russian aviation. The MC-21 was designed to challenge the Airbus A320neo and Boeing 737 MAX, not by imitation, but by innovation. Its wider fuselage offers more comfort, with broader seats and aisles than its Western rivals. The MC-21 also features advanced composite wings, using a unique Russian production method for lighter, more efficient flight. Originally, airlines could choose between American Pratt & Whitney engines or a new Russian engine, aiming for global appeal. These features, wider cabin, composite wings, and engine choice, were meant to make the MC-21 a true global competitor. But as geopolitics shifted, the MC-21's design was forced to change, transforming it from a global contender into a symbol of national self-sufficiency. The aircraft's DNA was rewritten by necessity, not by choice. After 2022, sweeping international sanctions forced Russia to abruptly abandon its global integration model for the MC-21 airliner. The country, once eager to collaborate with Western suppliers and use the best available technology from around the world, suddenly found itself cut off from critical components and expertise. In response, Russia had no choice but to pivot to a strategy of total self-reliance, reimagining the MC-21 as a fully domestic project. The original MC-21 design depended on foreign components for up to 70% of its systems, including advanced avionics, engines, and flight control electronics, parts that were suddenly out of reach. When sanctions hit, the project faced a stark choice. Either abandon the ambitious airliner altogether, or attempt the daunting task of replacing every foreign part with a Russian-made equivalent, regardless of the cost or complexity. Russia chose the latter, launching a massive, Russification effort, redesigning, testing, 
and certifying entirely new domestic systems from scratch, often under intense time pressure and with limited resources. This overhaul demanded rapid innovation, a huge expansion of industrial capacity, and the mobilization of thousands of engineers and workers, all while racing against tight deadlines to keep the project alive. The MC-21 soon became a high-profile test case for Russia's ability to achieve technological independence and resilience under unprecedented pressure from the outside world. Developing domestic alternatives that could match or even approach Western performance standards proved to be a formidable challenge, requiring new expertise and significant investment. The transformation fundamentally reshaped the MC-21, impacting its performance, cost, and development timeline. The result is a very different aircraft from the one first envisioned, one that now stands as a symbol of Russia's determination to adapt and survive in a rapidly changing world. The Russified MC-21's true test is happening in the skies, as prototypes fly with new Russian-made components. The American engines are gone, replaced by the domestically built Aviad Vigatel PD-14, a major engineering milestone. The MC-21-310, equipped with these engines, began certification flights in 2025, marking a critical step forward. Each flight gathers vital data on performance, fuel burn, and reliability of the new Russian systems. Nearly all components are now Russian-made, though a few like brakes still await domestic versions. The sight of the MC-21-310 climbing skyward is a powerful symbol of the program's progress, but these successes also reveal the compromises made especially in performance and economics. The Russified MC-21 is a real flying machine, but not without trade-offs. Self-reliance has come at a steep price for the MC-21. The drive to replace Western technology with Russian-made components was born out of necessity, but it has introduced a host of new challenges for the aircraft's designers and operators. Replacing lightweight Western parts with Russian alternatives has made the aircraft about six tons heavier. This significant weight increase is not just a technical detail, it affects nearly every aspect of the MC-21's performance and economics. In aviation, every extra kilogram matters. Extra weight means more fuel burned on every flight, a shorter range between refueling stops and higher operating costs for airlines. These factors together undermine the MC-21's original promise of being a highly efficient next-generation airliner. The new PD-14 engine, while a technical feat and a symbol of Russian engineering, is less durable and more expensive than its Western predecessor. Airlines must now plan for more frequent maintenance and higher long-term costs. As of 2025, a single PD-14 cost nearly double the Pratt & Whitney engine, adding financial strain. This price gap puts additional pressure on airlines already facing rising expenses across the board. The MC-21 sticker price has soared by 65%, now costing around $97 million, far more than a Boeing 737 MAX or Airbus A320neo. This makes it a tough sell, even for Russian carriers, when compared to established, Western models. Russian airlines have no alternative, forced to accept a less economical aircraft to keep flying. For many, it's a matter of survival in a market where choices are limited by sanctions and supply chain disruptions. Competition for resources with the military further drives up costs and slows production. Factories must juggle priorities, often putting commercial projects behind defense contracts. The price of independence is measured in lost efficiency, higher costs, and tough compromises. For the MC-21, every step towards self-sufficiency has come with new obstacles, reshaping the future of Russian aviation. The MC-21's journey has been plagued by delays, amplified by the challenges of Russification. Serial production was once set for 2016, but each new domestic component reset the development clock. Engine production is a major bottleneck. Plans for 24 engines in 2025 were slashed to just seven due to supply issues. Only one MC-21 was delivered by August 2025, far short of targets. Certification for the fully domestic MC-21-310 is now expected by summer 2026, with first deliveries at the end of that year, a decade behind schedule. Even then, mass production will ramp up slowly, with the goal of 36 aircraft per year unlikely before 2029. This slow pace means Russia's aging fleet will take years to renew. 
Building a self-sufficient aviation industry under pressure is proving immensely difficult. For Russian airlines, the MC-21 can't arrive soon enough. Sanctions have cut off access to new Western planes and spare parts, forcing airlines to cannibalize grounded jets just to keep flying. By 2024, half of Russia's modern Airbus fleet was grounded, and the total Western fleet is projected to shrink from 738 jets in 2022 to just 319 by 2030. The MC-21 and the Superjet SJ-100 are now lifelines, the only way to renew fleets and maintain flight schedules. Alternatives like China's Comac C9119 are also off-limits due to Western components. Aeroflot is betting big, ordering 198 MC-21-310s to replace its aging Western jets. For Russian carriers, the MC-21 is the only path forward to keep the country connected. Russian air travel is entering a new era, one defined by domestic aircraft, crews, and parts. The MC-21 will become the backbone of medium-haul routes, connecting major cities and shaping the experience of a new generation of travelers. The transition brings challenges. Heavier, less efficient planes, higher ticket prices, and fewer flights, especially to remote regions. But once domestic production stabilizes, Russian aviation will be insulated from foreign sanctions, ensuring a stable supply of planes and parts. The government aims to produce over 1,000 new aircraft by 2030, a massive, coordinated effort. The future of Russian air travel is a grand experiment in industrial self-sufficiency. The roar of the PD-14 engine will mark a new, more isolated but enduring era for Russian aviation. Can the MC-21 be a global game-changer by 2026? The answer is no. The Russification process made the MC-21 heavier, costlier, and less efficient than its Western rivals, with no access to international markets or certification. The dream of global sales is postponed. The MC-21 is now a domestic champion by necessity. Within Russia, it's a game-changer, keeping civil aviation alive and connecting the nation. By late 2026, the first Russified jets will symbolize Russian resilience and industrial achievement. The MC-21 story is one of shifting ambitions from global competition to national survival. Its true impact will be measured not in global sales, but in the millions of Russians it will carry for decades to come.